everyone, thank you so much for checking in on my video today. It is going to cover the last nine weeks of my fitness journey. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show you my transformation photos from over a year ago. I have had my ups and my downs. I've had days where I didn't want to go to the gym, days where I didn't want to eat the set foods that I had on my fitness pal. And it hasn't been easy at all, and it has taken its time. I think that when people post transformation photos on Instagram, a lot of people think, oh, she's so lucky, or he's so lucky, he got big so quick, or she lost the weight so quickly. Realistically, it's not like that at all. There's so much more that goes on behind the scenes, and this video is going to show you some of those days I've had in the last nine weeks. And I do have a massive announcement, and that's going to be in this video. So this vlog actually dates back to January the 20th. Just a little bit of a background on everything. On the 28th of December last year, Ross and I both made a typical New Year's resolution and it was to get on track with our training and nutrition. He decided that he was going to compete in Melbourne, which he did, and he placed in the top five, getting third. I'm so proud of him, but seeing his journey motivated and inspired me to stick to all my goals and to really smash them this year, which is what I've been doing. You are going to see that. I'm very, very excited and I hope that you'll listen to what I say throughout the video and understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I think that's really important to do something because you want to, not because you think that that's what everyone expects of you or that's what you think you should do. So I hope you enjoy this video and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe and smile. What is up everyone? It's the 20th of January. Ross and I just got back from the gym and I had a shower. Anyway, today is an exciting day because I am sending away photos to Rachel Dillon, a WBFF pro, who is sponsored by EHP Labs and I'm excited to say that she will be my coach for the next, I think it's like 107 days or so away and lead up to the WBFF. I get nervous just saying it. The WBFF Gold Coast Bikini Competition. The WBFF Gold Coast Bikini Competition. I kept her a secret for so long just because I want to do this for me. I kind of saw how well Ross was doing and he's competing in two months and we're heading over to Melbourne and then I started thinking about how well I was doing and how good I was feeling and how strong and how happy and healthy I am compared to when I started a few years ago and I thought a good way to challenge myself would be to step on stage because before a few months ago I never would have even worn a bikini and felt good in it yet alone take photos and post them on Instagram. So I'm doing this competition for me. I've seen that there can be up to 40 girls on the stage and that makes me terribly nervous but I understand that's my first competition. I'm super excited and I think this is going to be an amazing opportunity for me just to meet a lot of like-minded girls, to step on stage and just strut myself and enjoy myself. This is just a reminder to myself that this journey was just to challenge myself. So I'm excited for the future. I will do little vlogs uh, in the next kind of 10 to 12 weeks. And that's what this vlog is going to be. It's just going to be my lead up to it. A lot of people in the past have asked me if I would compete. And I've always said no, it just never interested me. And then recently I just wanted to challenge myself. So I feel like this is a good way to do it. I'm doing it for no one else but myself and I think that's the most important thing. I think it's always important to do whatever your heart wants, do what makes you happy. This is why I kind of kept it secret. I just wanted to do it for my own satisfaction. I'm super excited to be working with Rachel for it. I'm sending away my photos this morning and we'll see what she says. So this is my condition right now and I can't wait to change and see how my body can lean down and what my abs actually look like because I've never seen them before. What's up everyone? It is the 1st of February today, so it's a Wednesday. Ross and I went to Sydney for the weekend. By the end of January, most people have already stopped their New Year's resolutions. But I am proud to say that I have stuck to mine, even exceeded where I wanted to be. So since the 28th of December, I have dropped from 65.7 kilos down to 61.4 kilos yesterday, which I'm super excited about. I don't usually weigh myself, but for this journey, I kind of wanted to just so I have an idea of where I'm at. I've taken photos today for my progress, and it's crazy to see how far I've come from a year ago and then how far I've come in a month and Rachel sent me my new plan today I am now higher carbs and lower protein my calories have gone up by 200 so I'm very nervous to increase my carbs and lower my protein and increase my calories but I know she knows what she's doing all I want to do is see my abs and step up on that stage and smile so yeah 
I'm just going to show you one of my progress photos I took on my phone. So this was me one year ago, the 2nd of January. We were away in Amsterdam. We were traveling across America. As you can tell, I like went crazy on the food and it definitely showed. I can't believe I'm showing these photos. But anyway, this is me today, as you can see. Today, 7.13. Okay, so it is the 2nd of February today. And I was just looking at registering for the WBFF in the Gold Coast. Quite pricey. This is US dollars. Wow. <sighs> Honestly, this comp costs so much money. I can see why people want to enter competitions, but I don't know how they enter so many. Like, it does cost so much. So I guess if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. I'm going to work my butt off and my tummy off to make it all worth it. So I can step on that stage, whether I fall in love with competing or whether it's just going to be a one-off thing. I'm going to step on that stage and be proud of myself and how far I've come. So we'll be paying for that probably with my next payday. And I still need bikini, heels, tan, hair, makeup, all the rest. <laughs> Wow. What's up everyone? It is Friday the 3rd of Feb. I just finished smashing shoulders at the gym after doing hit and core this morning. And I just wanted to talk about something. So I hope it's not too loud with all the traffic. Okay, that's better. Anyway, so when I was training in the gym and ever since I decided that I was going to compete in WBFF, I kind of just have a next level motivation. So I'll be training in the gym and every time I just want to stop training, I don't want to put the weights down because it's too heavy or something or I'm tired. I kind of just think about stepping on that stage and it motivates me again and then I can keep going. So today I was really struggling. I thought about stepping on that stage, how much it's going to cost me and then I just kept going. I just got to move around this car. <laughs> I really just want to be in the best shape of my life and yeah, that's where I'm at and also check out my new flex leggings. <laughs> It is the 11th of Feb and Ross and I went to the gym this morning and we have just locked in our flights for the WBFF Gold Coast. It's starting to feel a little bit more real each day. What's up everyone? It is February the 15th. Today I thought I would check in as I just received my new plan from Rachel. So it is week four being with her. I'm very excited. It's most motivated I've been in a long time. I did hit this morning and I'm going back to the gym to train legs this afternoon. I cannot wait. I'm excited and nervous because my friend Pete's going to take me through a session. But yeah, everything is going well. I've taken some more progress photos. I'm eating over 2,000 calories a day and yeah, I can't wait to grow my glutes, grow my hammies and just get on that stage and strut my stuff. While I'm working, watching videos on how to walk in heels. I'm just gonna have to practice because for me to wear heels is hard enough, let alone walking in front of a lot of people on a stage. <laughs> 12 weeks until I step on that stage. Exciting. Mm. Breakfast time. It's a Thursday, it is pouring down. All the cars are looking at me. Weird already because I'm walking in the rain with my rain jacket, but it's so hot after doing sprints on the treadmill, sprints on the bike. And then finishing up with core after training legs yesterday with Pete. I just wanted to say that I can now understand when people enter a competition why they want to win. Like the dedication and the heart that goes into all the training. Like I didn't want to go to the gym today twice. But I did and I got my hip done. I've been running around all day. I've worked. Really struggled. Almost had a breakdown. And whatever happens I'm going to be really proud of myself. I'm already so proud of myself for just going to the gym when I didn't want to and doing sprints and like sticking to my macros so yeah just wanted to do that update I'm excited to see where I'll be in about 12 weeks time <laughs> good morning YouTube fam it is a Monday this is the start of week five with Rachel I went and smashed shoulders and core this morning had a shower and now I'm about to take my week five progress photos I weighed in on Friday Saturday Sunday and this morning just to track how my weight was over the weekend with a lower calorie day as well as a high carb day. Yesterday I had about 400 grams of carbs and I'm actually lighter today than I was on Friday so Rachel really knows what she's doing. Very happy about this. I'm going to send her some photos but don't expect much progress in terms of like fat loss or anything. The main goal right now is really to grow my glutes and my hammies then start cutting. Exciting! My heels just arrived. I was worried they weren't going to come, but I'm excited to get them out and then I'll be practicing in them every single day. Hello everyone, it's a Friday today and it is exactly 70 days and 22 hours until show day. 
I just wanted to have a quick check in with you. It's low carb day and it's also rest day. I really need a rest day today. Trained booty with Pete at Auckland City Les Mills yesterday. I'll put the workout here. It was killer. 905 reps. I hope you enjoy it. Push yourself through it and it also helps to have a buddy that can time you. But anyway, I'm probably going to cringe at this when I edit this video. I just want to show you what I look like right now in the mirror. So this is me, it's 10 weeks out, this lighting in the room is like really good for showing leg, but not really my core. My core's not very lean, like I'm still on over 2,000 calories a day, apart from today because it's low carb day. But yeah, tomorrow's going to be high carb day, I'm super excited for that, I really want some carbs and I'm training legs again tomorrow. Okay, so today is the day they actually register for the WBFF show, I was kind of putting it off, I know, I was kind of nervous, like was I going to do it, am I not, but there is no backing out. I'm doing it, it's 71 days, I got this. I am going to make myself proud and that's all I really care about. I'm super excited just to step on that stage and smile. So yeah, I'm gonna go register it right now. Oh my gosh, it's done. These just arrived in the mail, they were super, super cheap. I'm not sure if I'll actually wear them but they are so cheap I thought I'd just buy them anyway. It is a Thursday, my legs are still killer sore from my Tuesday leg session. Oh, oh. Four days until the WBFF. My legs are so sore <laughs> from training on Tuesday with Pete. It's a Thursday now, it's only been two days. I'm on my second serving of BCAs and glutamine for the day. I just really need my legs to recover as fast as possible, but I'm heading to train with Pete again today, so we'll see how I go. I think I've just got to push through the pain. <sighs> <laughs> I am so sore from legs on Wednesday. I didn't go to the gym today, so I rolled out. Put on some WBFF Pro videos. What is up, everyone? It is a Monday morning here in Melbourne. Ross and I woke up early this morning. We watched Hitch in bed, and he's just chilling out for a bit because I'm off to the gym, and he doesn't want to go during peak time. So I'm going to head to Dottie's, kill legs, and I can't wait to train. Rachel has dropped me down to 1,700 calories the first three days of the week before doing a low calorie day and then a high calorie day. So yeah, that's the plan and I can't wait to train, so yeah. Leading into week nine of prep and this is my last trek for a long time. Ross's one. Happy? <laughs> about 57 days out from the WBFF. I just trained shoulders and hit. Get outside, this is the weather. It's four times the price of Uber right now because there's a surge due to the rain and I'm gonna have to walk home in the rain. Talk about commitment. <laughs> Just had lunch with Team EHP and now it is time to go and check out my comp bikini. I can't wait to get measured and check it out. I am so excited to see my bikini. What's up everyone? So today is a Wednesday. It's about 45 days or maybe even 44 days to the WBFF. Ross and I went to the gym this morning and I did shoulders and hit on the bike. I've got my BCAs to sip on but I just wanted to talk to you and kind of keep it real. So. I wanted this video to be motivational and I wanted to show you this amazing journey where it was all easy and I was like sweet this is good all the way up until about two weeks uh, until I step on stage but I just wanted to keep it very real with you and say yesterday as much as it sucks to say this yesterday and the day before were really tough for me nutrition wise so over the weekend I went to Melbourne for the EHP Labs Fit Fest absolutely amazing I came back on Monday to weigh in at my newest low of 60.1 kilos but sadly Monday and Tuesday I was not very good with my nutrition um, I tracked everything but I was up in calories I am sorry Rachel but trust me I've kicked myself enough for this so today I went to the gym and instead of punishing myself I've just got to reframe my mindset two days gone they weren't ideal on the nutrition side I'm going to use those two days to fuel me for the rest of the week get fired up no more no more excuses just have to stick to the plan i absolutely trust everything rachel's doing for me and i can do this it's only like 45 days i got this i have my bikini from melbourne I've got my shoes everything's all planned out here and makeup's booked the only thing i need to pay for now is the hotel 
So I'm very excited. I'm sorry, this is a little bit depressing, but I have to keep it real with you guys. I was gutted about how I did yesterday and the day before, but you can't change that. You just have to pick yourself up and move on. So that's what I'm going to do. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday the 25th. It is high carb day. I weighed in this morning at 60.5 kilos. It is 42 days out until the WBFF. Wearing all my Gymshark gear. I feel really good. I vlogged some of my workout as well. And I can't wait to get home and eat some food. <laughs> as always, I'm going to keep it real. So I am drenched with sweat after doing sprints. It is Monday. It's 40 days out. I really didn't want to come to the gym today. I just wanted to show you how much struggle I'm going through. Like, yeah, I didn't want to go to the gym, but I came anyway. I killed running sprints as well as bike sprints. I've got to go down and do core. As you can tell, I'm dripping. 6.45, I've finished gym, and it is time to walk home. I feel really good. So there's going to be days when you don't want to go to the gym. And if you do go, you feel so much better after for going. So I definitely recommend going on those days when you really don't want to because those are the days that count like it's easy to go to the gym when you want to what's hard is going when you really don't want to or when it's rainy outside and you get stuck running back in the rain like I always do but yeah I killed it today I'm gonna head home shower take some photos for Rachel send her an email with all my like updated weights from the week and we'll see what she says Okay, so when I got home from the gym, I made my proats, I had a shower, freshened up, and then Ross took my transformation photos, and I was just looking at them, and I honestly felt like crying. My body has changed so much in the last 12 weeks. Just looking at the photos and seeing how my body's changed just brings tears to my eyes. I'd been going to the gym for like maybe anywhere between four and six years. It was kind of like on and off, bit of cardio at the start for the first couple of years. Then I started weights, but my nutrition had never been on point. It was literally only on the 28th of December that Ross and I both decided we were going to be good with our nutrition and start tracking, take it more seriously, like a typical New Year's resolution goal. And after four weeks, I lost four kilos, I realized how good I was doing and I had no cravings and the fat was just falling off so I was pretty happy so anyway the fat was just falling off and I thought you know what I want to take it to the next level so this is where I sent Rachel a message and I said oh hey you know what's the deal with competing so on so on do you think I could be ready I know there's a competition in May which is only 15 weeks away but can you help me and she was very lovely. We exchanged a few emails and she explained how she works, how she would prefer for me to step on stage very healthy despite what I looked like. So whether I was not the leanest on stage, she just wanted me to be healthy for life as opposed to being healthy for one day, which is very important for me. I don't really care about having this body that's good just for one day on stage and then going crazy after I care about living a lifestyle that is healthy, where I nourish my body with good foods, where I train because I love it, I mix it up to have fun, and that is exactly what Rachel's done for me. So I managed to lose four kilos by myself. I went to Rachel at, I think, about 62 kilos. Today I weighed in at 60.4 kilos. Uh, she had me on higher calories than I'd ever tracked before, which was amazing. So the goal was to really maintain my muscle mass as well as build a bit more. And today, Ross took the photos. I'm going to email them to her. I'm very proud of myself. It is 40 days until the WBFF as of today. I hope that this video inspires and motivates you to push yourself to look after your body, to live a happy and healthy lifestyle. And kind of just to show you that if I can do it, anyone can. I'm very proud of myself. I've said that so many times in this video. But I think that's the most important thing. I think that you need to live your life doing things that make you happy, helping other people, making other people smile. And also along the way, make sure that you stop and take time to appreciate yourself and appreciate how far you've come. Don't be afraid to be proud of yourself. It's amazing for you to chase your dreams, go hard, and to feel happy about doing so. So never let anyone else dim your light and yeah I hope you like this video and the next few weeks of vlogs are literally just going to be my lead up to the stage as always I, I can't leave you guys without any a vlog like this as always please remember to like comment subscribe and smile